And now we need to do a bunch of stuff for these gems. So let's drag this prefab back in, create another script, call it gem, attach it to our gem, and our, our game object called gem. And then we're going to re prefab this. Alright, and we can delete it. So now our gem has that. Double click on the script to open it up. And then in here, what our gem is going to do is it's going to respond to a click. It's going to uh, point on mouse down. This is the Unity command to to acknowledge that somebody's clicking it. Uh, so if we print clicked. And as you can see, clicked pops up. So now you can determine which gem you're clicking on. Um, what else we're going to do is it needs to know its neighbors. So we're going to do a little trick to reduce the amount of effort we actually have to do in this to figure out its neighbors. Uh, game object. Or we're actually going to call these gem. We want a list of gem neighbors. And we're actually we're going to do the same thing back up here. This is going to be a list of gems. Or a list of gem gems. And then to add it, we need to get the component gem. This just makes it easier to access the individual fields that we're going to have in here later on. Uh, gem. Okay. So in order to find our neighbors, you can either do a lot of list, list manipulation or you can do something slightly clever. <laughs> um, so what we're going to do is the one that's a lot less work. I'm going to create a cube and we're going to drag that into our gem. And we're going to call this a, a feeler. Um, we're going to say this is point. 5 by 0.5 by 0.5 and let's try that out a little bit more to 1 2 2 all right so when this the object here what this is going to do is it's going to poke into the cube next to it so this is 0.6 and it's going to have one on each of its axes the top and the bottom and the uh, left and right and it's going to poke into each cube next to it to determine if that cube is in fact next to it and so we're going to use this to determine all of our neighbors and so let's make four of them zero point five uh, six then one more on the bottom. All right, so now we have this weird looking gem that has these four prongs sticking out of it, and these prongs are pushing to the cubes next to them, and when they do, they'll also send a message from their on trigger event. Um, we're going to go ahead and remove the mesh filter because we don't want that, and we're going to remove this as well, so it's just the box collider on it. And then we're going to go ahead and save this. And then, oh yeah, we also need to make a new script, and we're going to call this a feeler script.